What would the northern lakes of the United States be without the call of the common loon? For those fortunate enough to have heard it, the common loon is the voice of the wilderness itself. The echoes of a time when the loons ruled the pristine lakes of the northern forests. But in a world of increasing lakeshore development and recreational pressure on lakes, the future of the common loon is uncertain. Although loons face many complex stressors, there is one leading threat that can be easily eliminated, but is invariably fatal to loons, lead fishing tackle. Lead is a leading cause of adult loon mortality. In some parts of the loon's range, Lead is responsible for over 50% of all adult loon deaths. Given that loons are a long-lived species with a low reproductive rate, the loss of so many adults to a single human-caused factor has serious implications for a species that is already threatened or listed as a species of special concern in several states. The primary lead objects that kill loons are lead jigs or lead sinkers. A jig is a weighted object with a hook attached to it. A sinker is a metal object attached to a fishing line simply to help weigh it down. Loons are fish eating birds and can ingest lead fishing tackle in three ways. First, if a fish has broken a fishing line and is trailing a lead sinker or jig behind it, that fish will not be swimming as well as it normally would. For a loon, this fish is an easy meal. When it eats the fish, it also ingests the lead fishing tackle. Secondly, a loon may strike a tackle that is being pulled through the water. If the tackle includes lead, the loon will ingest it. Finally, the loon may pick up pieces of lost lead tackle off the bottom of the lake and eat it. Loons regularly ingest small pebbles which collect in the gizzard to help grind up their food. A small piece of lead tackle may look like a pebble to the loon, which then picks it up, unaware of the fatal results. Once inside the loon, the lead wears away and the loon develops lead poisoning. Within two to four weeks of the ingestion of the tackle, the loon will invariably die. Lead is 100% fatal to loons. Even a single tiny lead split shot sinker will kill an adult loon. As a field biologist, I have witnessed firsthand the devastating effects of lead fishing tackle on loons. One of the loon families on the lake I was monitoring had a chick that was one week old. Blood samples of the father taken during routine banding subsequently revealed that the loon had elevated levels of lead in its blood. We immediately launched multiple desperate rescue attempts in case anything could be done to save this loon, but each night ended without capturing him. The story finally ended five days later. By this time, the loon was showing the effects of lead poisoning and was attacked by another loon, trying to take over his territory. The father, weakened by the lead poisoning, was unable to defend himself or his chick. Having driven off the father, the attacking loon turned its attention to the chick. Despite the mother's efforts to save her chick, the chick was killed, its head crushed in the bill of the other loon. When I arrived on the scene, nothing could be done to save the chick. We collected the father, who was too weak to put up any fight, and drove him to the vet. There, an x-ray confirmed the presence of a lead jig inside the loon. At that point, we had no choice but to euthanize him. Had the father not had lead poisoning, it is unlikely he would have been attacked by the intruding loon. Or, if he had, he would at least have been able to defend himself and his family. As it was, a single lead jig was responsible for the death of this loon and his chick. Compounding the tragedy, 
these two deaths were entirely preventable. You can help save loons from these unnecessary and preventable deaths. Non-toxic alternatives made from tungsten, bismuth, stone, ceramic, steel, and tin are effective and readily available. All of these materials will help you catch fish but will not harm a loon if it is accidentally ingested. You can ask your friends, neighbors, and family members to use non-toxic fishing tackle as well. The more people use non-lead fishing tackle, the safer our loons will be. Loons are an irreplaceable part of our northern lakes. If they were to vanish, we would all be the poorer for it. Let's get the lead out and make our lakes safer places for loons to live and raise their young, so they may continue to fill the night sky with the music of the wilderness.